Hey everybody, it's Corbin with World of HVAC, and in a previous video, I went over how to braise a joint. Well, I was also talking about heat transfer towards the valve and the Schrader core. Well, I have a thermal imaging camera hooked up, and I have three different ways to prevent heat from transferring down a pipe, so we're going to test them out. So what I have lined up is I have cool gel, the actual gel that I used in that video. I have solder weld hot block, which is a putty, and I have the traditional rag and water system that you see so often. So I'm gonna be reusing the pipe from the last video where it still has all the joints and the stem. I'm going to be using my FLIR CM174, which is a thermal imaging meter to monitor the heat transfer from this area where I'll be applying the heat and this area where I'll be putting each individual hot stopper, let's call it that, and watch it go back down the pipe and see how they all do. So it's pretty simple with the cool gel. You just spray it on and hope it works. With the solder weld stuff, this is actually a putty. So it says add water to achieve desired consistency. So it comes, you know, pretty putty-ish. I don't know what to call it, but I like it where you can form it a little bit more. So add some water in there and mess with it a little bit. And then we can throw it on. I think it's pretty safe to say that the solder weld hot block took home the win in this test. Now, if you actually compare all three of them, the cool gel didn't last like at all. Now, I will admit that that is like the weakest of the three. I would rather go with a wet towel and just hit it with the hose every now and then. The cool gel is also the hardest to work with. If you try and wrap the pipe with the cool gel, when you get it on the top, it'll sit. But when you try and get it on the bottom, it's gonna constantly try and just drip off. And that's a huge pain in the butt. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description as to where to get these two products. You can probably find them at your supply house, but at least on the internet, I got you covered. So if you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button, that'll really help the channel out. If you can hit the like button on this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you on the next one.